Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. Today I am going to explain the gate voltage concept in the motherboard NMA362. One of our student or one of our group member having this doubt, actually he was getting 19 voltage in the gate of first and second MOSFET. So these all are P channel MOSFETs, first and second and uh, there is no chance to get the 19 volts i mean chances are there but we should get lesser voltage compared to 19 volts okay what was the input voltage same voltage he was getting in the gate so he replaced the mosfets first and second and uh, minimum components also he has uh, replaced and then also he was getting the 19 voltage so concept here see there are two resistors two register means second register should be ground second register output should be ground then only you will get the V out V out this V out has given to the gate uh, the MOSFET 1 and MOSFET 2 of uh, gate of the these two MOSFETs okay see here some logics are there in previous video I already explained you transistors will work as a logic gates okay that logic gates example I will tell you now so easily you can understand it okay see now here this first mos first MOSFET is N channel sorry it's a P channel here it is in forward bias means here drain to source easily the voltage will pass okay from year to year easily voltage will pass because of forward bias okay second thing is same voltage or lesser voltage you will get in this point that time gate voltage won't be there so how you will get the voltage that I will explain you one by one see here same or lesser voltage compared to the input of this particular MOSFET the voltage will goes to this particular register and second register and in case if this second register goes to ground I mean it will happen the ground thing then you will get the V out here means these two register will act as a R1 and R2 and this is the it will become voltage divider okay this voltage divider voltage will go to gate of this first and second MOSFET see here first and second both are connected to each other this V out in case in case R2 will be ground R2 output should be ground then only this will become V out and you will get the exact gate voltage okay see now here the concept they have given through these these transistors and these MOSFETs I will explain one by one as a gate I mean it's a logic gate concept I'll explain clearly you people only come to know uh, what logic here it has used okay see first thing is this is RMR going inside it means it's a PNP transistor it's PNP transistor okay this one RMR going towards the ground means outside from the base it means NPN transistor okay NPN transistor here this arrow mark showing towards the gate okay towards the gate this is FET okay this is N channel MOSFET N channel MOSFET these are two transistors this is P channel tra uh, sorry PNP transistors and this is NPN transistor and here N channel MOSFET and one more N channel MOSFET okay 
and here two more are there see these two are n channel mosfets okay now uh already explained you transistors are mosfets we can use it as a switch okay here what are the concept they have used so first you need to check the logic of these transistors and mosfets when it will active and when it will be off condition okay once you come to know then easily you can understand these gate voltage you will get it or not now see here this is a p channel p channel concept is this here it's p n p p n p it's collect sorry emitter collector and base in case of base there is no voltage then this will be in on condition it will become high and then it will conduct from emitter to collector okay here it will conduct it will pass this current to here first condition it should be there should be no voltage then this pnp transistor will active and from here to here get, uh, i mean voltage will pass in case of voltage will be there in base then it will be in off condition it won't work means here emitter voltage will be here and collector voltage will be here okay it won't pass here same n p n n collector emitter and air base okay if any voltage will be there 0.7 to some particular voltage should be there then this will be in active condition and it passes current through collector to emitter okay i'll repeat here voltage should be there then this transistor will be on condition then it passes current through collector to emitter when there be uh, there will be no voltage in base then it will be off condition and it won't work it won't conduct from collector to emitter okay this is the concept of these two npn and pnp channel transistor now n channel mosfet n channel mosfet here gate drain and source see sh there should be a voltage in the gate then it will be in active condition then it passes voltage from drain to source so slowly i'm telling you people to understand easily slowly i'm telling okay not in hurry hurry slowly i'm telling this is a n channel mosfet once the gate voltage is there available is there then this n channel mosfet will conduct then it will work it will get on switch on then drain to source it will pass the voltage or signal whatever it may be input okay so this is the concept of n channel mosfet same concept here also same all three are 1 2 3 4 are n channel mosfet if there is no voltage it won't work it won't pass any voltage from here to here understood my point once again i will repeat this is pnp transistor there should no voltage in base sorry uh, here base then it will conduct it will pass from here to here the voltage in case if there is a voltage in base then it will be in off condition it will be in off condition okay in npn transistor base should be having voltage means it should be in high condition then this npn transistor will work it passes current from collector to emitter okay 
in case if there is no voltage in base this will be in off condition and it won't work okay similarly these four are n channel mosfets here if gate voltage will be there then it will conduct and it will work it will be in on position it passes current from drain to source you got my point right here they have used two transistors one is pnp npn and 1 2 3 4 5 5 n channel mosfets they have they are used but here four should be considered okay see these are the tricks actually this these are for protection protect the motherboard hmm? how it will protect i'll explain you one by one first in this condition just a minute i'll delete all the things now i'll explain how it will be in on or off condition in what position it will be in on and off condition so one by one i'll explain now see this vn it will come to the drain of this first mosfet and easily it will pass to source because of this forward bias diode okay it means lesser or equal to the v in voltage you will get in point p2 okay that voltage will come to here here and here here it will get stuck and again it will pass through this resistor and this resistor it means here 19 voltage up to here this base will be there no npn sorry is the pnp pnp okay here is the base base will be having some voltage so i already explained you in pnp case if base voltage is there then it will be in off condition okay but you should not check from here because if you check here so definitely you will get confused so one important point important trick i will tell you so don't suspect any these transistors or uh, any kind of mosfets first you should understand the logic of this gate voltage uh, thing then you come to know exactly what the problem and where exactly it will be the problem okay first directly you should come to here this is the last mosfet see here two transistor uh, transistor this gate is connected to this two transistor and this transistor is connected to this mosfets in channel mosfets see here one by one it's linked interlinked it's like a switch it acting like a uh, logic gates see one is this is last mosfet okay last mosfet i already told you if there is a voltage in the gate then it conducts and it passes drain to source for example if you are getting bad out the first example first you need to check see here you are getting 19 volts and then you should check this bad out is available or not okay in case this bad out is available see one by one how it will acts as a switch that i'll explain you here it will be high okay then it will conduct so drain to source it will become ground means what are the voltage you will get here in this point in case ac off is present it's a 3.3 voltage is present then the direct voltage goes to the ground in case bat out voltage you are getting okay if this voltage goes to the ground then here there will be no voltage then it will become low and drain to source won't be there any connection won't be there because of off condition okay in case if it is in off condition and you need to check the pack in in case pack in is available so then this pack in voltage transfers this Uh, through this resistor and it actuates the mosfet in channel mosfet this is the gate okay once gate is high 
okay this n channel mosfet will be high high in the sense it will be on condition then drain to source it will pass the voltage see once it connects to drain to source then here what are the voltage will be there the those voltage will goes to the ground okay see here these two transistors i mean sorry these two resistors then it will become as a it will act as a voltage divider because of this activeness okay see once it this n channel mosfet gets active then it will become voltage divider and here p2 iphone 1 voltage divider voltage will go to this particular gate and this particular gate and one more condition also is there see here it is if it is in active condition then same voltage comes to here okay here this mosfet sorry uh, this n channel mosfet also will become high and here what are the voltage will goes to ground okay once it become high here what are the voltage it it comes to this point this will become ground and then there will be no voltage on the base of this npn transistor if this is there is no voltage then it will be low it won't conduct right it won't conduct hmm? then here this pnp condition what it will be that we, we need to check here i told you pq301 will pass the voltage from drain to source that means here also same or equal or less voltage you will get compared to v in assume it's a 19.8 voltage okay same voltage will come to here 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 and through these two resistors it will come here and it will get stuck here okay because of this off condition so the voltage is available up to this collector of this npn transistor okay now once voltage comes to base of this transistor then in pnp case it will be off condition so this will be in off condition and there will be no voltage from ear to ear then this 19 voltage won't pass and won't come to ear okay this voltage divider voltage will goes to these two gates understood my point so this is the concept of nma362 motherboard see in case this concept won't work then 100% you will get 19 voltage here because once it conducts once it becomes high this also will be high here voltage will come here here there will be no voltage and again this 19 voltage will pass to this v out section okay this is the logic hmm? so please note down if you not understood so please repeat the video and slowly you can watch the concept in next video i'll clearly explain how it will be connected each other individually i will explain you okay thank you thank you very much